guys under this advanced advanced strategies and concepts for, for trader the traders I'm trying to address as you very well know the medium trader with uh, the one with, uh, with knowledge about uh, about basic basic stuff in, uh, in trading and under this chapter we'll take a look at how to use the Fibonacci extension for, for price and time confluence now this chapter actually is going to have two recordings with uh, two specific uh, examples please read, uh, please read the text that comes with, with the recordings the first one will deal with the Great Britain Pound US dollar on the 4 hour chart analysis and the second one with, uh, with the Euro dollar so basically we are putting, putting the, uh, the practical examples under, um, under the, under the uh, theory, the text and uh, both cases are, are presenting carbon price levels so you can, you can actually use this in, <coughs> in your f uh, future trading now what you are seeing in here it is a Great Britain Pound the Great Britain Pound US dollar analysis and Great Britain Pound US dollar 4 hour chart and I would like to start with uh, marking the top in here so this is your top and this is your bottom in here your bottom in here and basically I will try to take a look from the top left of the screen towards the downside in here to see if it was possible to project this move both in time and price and then what happened with the price from here to the right side for the current levels and as you can see in here I would, uh, I would say that this is the first wave for example, wave 1 if, when you're, if you're using the Elliott waves analysis so 1 and probably this is the second wave now, you very well know that if you are looking for an impulse, for example, to the downside, and this is the time element, always take into consideration the time element. Okay? Now, if you are looking, let me, make, let, let me make this one like this. So, if you are looking for a third wave in an impulse, you need that at least, at least uh, a one wave in an impulse need to be extended. There is higher than 161.8 out of the previous wave, and usually the first the first likelihood, the first uh, most likely extended wave is the third wave so if you are looking for a third wave then you are looking for 161.8 extension out of wave 1 so what you should do, you should, you should take the Fibonacci expansion tool from here and then apply it right from the, from the top in here to the lows for the wave 1 the first wave and put it exactly on the end of the second wave and you are looking for, you're looking for the 161 Point eight level in here, as you can see. Now, it is it is obviously it is obviously that this that this uh, one hundred sixty one point eight expansion level it is uh, um, it is touched. However, the price structure coming from the from the highs in here, so the price structure does not does not suggest that this is a third wave in the makings in here, because because uh, when you're looking at five waves down, for example, you need a fourth wave to retrace at least. 20 something percent out of the third wave and if this would be the third wave extended then you have no retracement for the fourth one so this this uh, doesn't make any sense so the more the likelihood of your of your third wave is to be in here and then to have a fourth wave retracement in here as you can see if you take a Fibonacci retracement for example now in order to see the retracement for the fourth wave falls into the into the right into the right percentages, then I would say that you see it is coming 38.2, which is which is typical for for retracement for the fourth wave. Now, remember the the name of this of this chapter. Uh, we are trying to identify price and time. Okay, so take always take into consideration the time. Now, if this is the time taken for wave one to complete then I would like to know the time taken for the second wave to complete and for the third wave to complete, like this so you might take a shape for example from here in order to identify the different, uh, the different legs so this would be the time taken for the first leg the first wave to complete then this is the time taken for the third wave to complete but attention, the third wave it is not. Let me change the color. So 
so the third wave it is not extended you need at least one wave to be extended when you're looking at an impulse well if the first wave it is not extended the third wave is not extended then the only chance for this to be an impulse is for the fifth wave to be extended now if you take the time element from here and try to mark the try to mark the, the end of the fourth wave in here and you're looking for the fifth wave to come now in order for the fifth wave to be extended it needs to be extended now 161.8 but attention not on the first wave now but out of the longest wave between the first two uh, two legs uh, to the downside so the longest uh, leg it is the third one in here so you are looking for an expansion property for an expansion tool that goes that goes from the end of uh, of the second wave so Fibonacci expansion you go goes from here and you drag it till the end of the third wave in here and you put it in you put it at the end of the fourth wave in here and you are looking for 161.8 extension out of this and the level you are seeing that the level actually comes in here so from this moment on from this moment on this is being considered as extended as extended and you have the rules all the rules of an impulse are being uh, are being uh, satisfied so you might say that this is one two three four and this is the fifth level to the downside and this is a fifth level extension now if you mark a time element taking for the fifth wave in here to, to complete then you are actually having let's take a shape so you're having a fifth wave in here Let's change the color a little bit and make it like this. Okay, so this is your fifth wave to the downside. So if you are looking actually at the price extension, so this is 161.8 extended in time, in, in price, sorry, so you might write in here that this is 161.8% expansion, price expansion. price expansion and this is this is useful for when when uh, when dealing with uh, earlier place analysis when you're looking for expansion but you might also know only by a uh, a short look that also this wave this fifth wave actually it is also uh, extended in terms of time so you might write down that the fifth wave extended both in price and time. Now, if you were to take an if you were to take an educated guess by the end of the fourth wave in here and looking for when and where the um, the fifth wave should end, then you should take the uh, the uh, Fibonacci expansion tool, project 161.8 to have the minimum price target, and then you are just taking the time taken for the third wave to consolidate and you projected 161.8 as you can see in here that it, this is definitely higher than 161.8 so basically after this after this something like this after this moment after this moment in time you were looking for for the price to to bottom or at least this was the minimum the minimum time to be uh, to be reached so you didn't have to look for short, for long, sorry, in here because neither your price and the time element were completed. So this is so this is the move from uh, this is the move from the downside. And what I would like also to uh, to show you another way of how to use this uh, this uh, price and time confluence. So this is one way one way to look at, at things, a simple way from my point of view. And the second way is if you take a look from from this moment and trying to interpret this move to the upside then if you if you think in terms of value at place this might be for example this is a perfect this is a perfect um, um, impulsive impulsive move respects all, all the rules so this is one two three And then 
means probably either the end of a of the, of the first wave, either the end of an a, a wave, let's say an A wave, maybe it is a correction, maybe not. It doesn't really matter at this moment of time. What's important in here that this sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 seems to be a perfect impulse. All the rules are respected. Principle of alternation, extension rules for the third wave. So we, this is an impulse with a third wave, um, with a third wave being uh, being extended. But this is not what uh, what the purpose of the record of this recording is. But if you take uh, if you take into consideration the moment the moment uh, wave A needs to complete wave A red, then you should take from here insert Fibonacci and time zones, and you click from the end of the fifth wave in here, and you drag till the end of the A wave in here, and of course we should change the color because we are seeing nothing in here, so the fever level should be, let's say, uh, black. Okay, and let's make something like this. So these are your Fibonacci levels from, uh, from this moment. So you may consider that for the future price, for the future moments, future, um, future price section, uh, uh, these time zones are relevant and should be taken into consideration. If you right click and you go under the properties in here, you have the level. So level one you might mean you might say that this is the first cycle, then two the second cycle, then three the third cycle. I would add the fourth one, so four and other the description four. And I would also like to add the sixty one point eight levels starting from the first cycle and going to the two to the second, third and so on and so on. So add um, 61.8%, so and the description, we are just writing 61.8%, and then we would also like to have 161.8%, so 161.8%, and then of course 261.8%, and so on and so forth. I will add now only the, the 361 361.8% okay. okay, so this should be in here 3.618 sorry for that so this is 2.618 and this should be 1.618 and of course that uh, previous one should be 0 0.618 and you just click OK and you have your levels added now it might it may look a little bit uh, confusing now on the screen but what you should do is sh it's you should measure your first cycle and your your first cycle is it is being given by by uh, the time taken for the first wave to complete and let's make this one like this and make it uh, make it pink. And basically, this is the length of your cycles: one, two, three, okay, four, five, see, five cycles, all based on the nature of the first of the first leg out. So, regardless if you are look, if you are using uh, Elliott waves analysis or not, you are having maybe you are just considering. The first, the first move to the upside there is I don't know one leg up, and then looking for, looking for, uh, for these cycles to repeat in terms of time and price. Now take a look in here. This is the first, this is the first cycle like this, okay? By the end of the second cycle in here, what you have, you have exactly the low, uh, the low given by price. So you have an educated guess by already from this moment that. Um, by the time the second cycle would uh, would expire, so the time taken for the first the first move up to uh, expire in to expire in here, so you have the time uh, the, the time element for a possible bottom, and then look also for the fourth for the fourth uh, for the fourth cycle in here, almost almost in the top. But what what you should how you should use it, for example, if you are looking for let's say that this is an impulsive move and this is the first 
this um, this wave in here wave A actually would be wave one of, of this degree, okay? And you want to look for the third wave extension, in both in ter in terms of price and time, and th this is uh, this is when the 61.8 uh, uh, levels come uh, come in. What you should do is you should measure the 161.8 so from the beginning of the move this is the end of your first cycle and this is 61.8 projected out of the out of the second cycle so normally this is 161.8 expansion time expansion okay so if you are looking for let me change the color so if you are looking for uh, a third wave to be extended 161.8 out of wave one, then you should also look for the time to be extended 161.8% uh, out of the time taken for the first wave to complete. So this is the time taken for, uh, for the first wave to complete, expanded by 61.8 and you should apply this one by the moment of the correction. So from here on, like this, and normally this should have, this should have been your uh, your time expiring for the third wave to come to the outside. As you can see in here, this doesn't look this doesn't look like uh, like being a third wave to the upside. So this is why this is why I should uh, I would uh, I would rather uh, think that this is an A, B, and C move rather than an uh, an impulsive move to the upside. Or maybe this is just the beginning. Maybe this is just the beginning of a leading diagram, for example, one, two, three, four, five. So this should be only the first wave of a more complex move. We don't know that. What we know under these circumstances is that these this cycles and, and projections can help us identify the relationship between the waves and when to expect such a, uh, such a, uh, such, such a move. By the end of the fourth cycle in here, actually was the target for the first cycle to the upside. So you might say that you might say that this area in here was our target both in terms of price. Why also in terms of uh, in terms of price? Because this also looks like a this also looks like an inverse head and shoulder with a possible neckline being in here. And then this being the measure move for the neckline. And if you take the measure move and apply it by the moment of break, like this. So probably like this. More likely yes, because of the two hesitations in here. And there you go, you have the you have the target for, for the measured move and if you were to put a price on it, it is something like 155.37 which, which is already done. So you had a price projection in here. This one should be shorter like this. So you have a price, sorry. So you have a price projections in here and um, And you know that the time taken for this price to come should be approximately at uh, at the end of one of the cycles identified based on the on this first move. And as you can see, your price has been one your price target has been 155.37 based on the inverse and shoulder pattern. And then the time taken to complete it was right about. What, right about here by the end of the fourth cycle in, uh, in here. This is what I wanted to show you for this, uh, for this recording and the second recording will deal with, uh, with another example this time on the Euro dollar